question five is another question from a, a member called John. Um, can you explain the conditions or requirements pertaining to lump sum withdrawals from a self-managed super fund in pension mode? Yeah, again, um, Rob, one of the questions that we got a lot uh, in different formats. So I just chose this one because it was a simple uh, wording rather than some of the other ones. So um, there's a lot of our readers who ask this same question. So starting point. Um, if you have a pension in place, any payment that is made out of that pension account must always be treated as a pension payment. It can't be treated as anything else than a pension payment unless before that payment gets made, the member sends in or gives the trustees a written request to treat the payment as something else, such as a lump sum. So if I start a pension, um, I, I put a million dollars from my accumulation into a pension account, every payment from that pension account must always be treated as a pension payment. Unless before the payment gets made out, I have an agreement with the trustees to treat it as something else. Um, so we, we all know why we're, we're doing this. We're trying to uh, reduce our transfer balance account amount so that we can move more money back into pension phase later. If you are therefore trying to treat a payment from your pension account as anything other than a pension, you have to be proactive about it you need to put in place the required paperwork before the payment is made. And what that would just usually say is, pay me X amount of money from my pension account as a lump sum payment. And then the trustee minute signing off. It's that simple. But we do it before the pension, before the payment is made from the fund. Check your trustee for any requirements you would need a member written request, which would sit out how much is to be paid as a lump sum and from where it's coming. So think about this. What if, uh, for instance, John, you had two, uh, uh, two or three pensions? Well, that request from you to the trustees to treat that payment as a lump sum and not a pension should reference from which pension that amount's coming from. Be careful with that. So if you've got multiple pensions, you need to tell the trustees from which pension you're requesting that payment to be treated as a uh, lump sum. Um, that just That's important. I know I'm probably not stressing it enough, but where you have multiple pensions, make sure you reference from which pension it's coming from. Um, also, don't forget that as it's a lump sum coming from retirement phase, you need to complete the transfer balance account report. So the SMSF will need to lodge the transfer balance account report, the T-bar, within the required time frame, which is now 28 days following the end of the relevant quarter. So, for instance, if you were to take a lump sum today from a pension, the quarter is the December quarter. You would have to lodge your T-bar by 28 January uh, next year for that. The other thing is make sure that the pension from which you're requesting the lump sum is a full retirement phase pension. It's not a transition to retirement pension. We can't take lump sums from transition to retirement pensions, uh, just keep that one in mind. So there, to me, the, the key issues to understand. And again, go back and have a look at some of those articles. We've even got some around lump sum uh, access as well.